What's up everybody and welcome back to the Traveling Circus and every single time I post one of my express videos I get comments about I want to see that thing in rough water big water so we brought her to Lake Michigan and she's a little angry this morning we're out here just bouncing around in the waves trying to catch some smallmouth but I wanted to just do a quick video on big water and the express show y'all some GoPro footage of what I'm in it's not like super angry like the Great Lakes can get, and I get that. But if it gets super, super angry, I'm not going to be out here in anything. I'm going to be honest with you. I fished the Great Lakes for years, fishing the FLW Tour, fishing Bassmaster Opens, and it's just, it's like the ocean. So when people say, oh, I wouldn't take that thing there, or I wouldn't do this, man, I, there aren't a lot of bass boats that are built for this kind of water. We're going to put her to the test today, try to catch some smallmouth. Uh, see what happens look i mean it's you know for a tennessee boy it's a little bumpy Obviously, it's a lot lighter than a fiberglass boat. So in that nose end, in that bow end, you're gonna get a lot more lift, a lot more bounce when you hit these waves. It's not just gonna trudge through them like a glass boat. Like if you were in a big deep V fiberglass boat, obviously it's gonna perform better in this kind of water because you can just kind of push through it. You get a lot more air time just out of the bow in the express, but still 21 foot boat, 96 inch beam. I'm completely comfortable being out here. And the biggest thing for me in rough water is just taking your time. Just take your time. I think when people get in trouble, it's when they just try to go taking off, barreling through when they're in a boat they shouldn't be. And look, these Great Lakes, man, and, and a lot of the comments are that. Man, bring that thing to the Great Lakes. Look, I've been in a lot of 21 foot fiberglass boats that had no business being out here. These waters are like the ocean and they're not designed for bass boats on a lot of days but like i said super comfortable being out here in the boat it's not great lakes crazy today but it's rough enough to do a good test <laughs> and to show y'all what she's made of let's uh let's go a little further on the old big pond That's all she wrote for the express boats in the big water. Like I said, got a couple fishing videos coming, but I wanted to show y'all kind of what I went through up there. And my overall summary, that front end, that bow end of that express, and I think I called it bouncy or light in the video, it, it is that, man. It, it does bounce when you hit those waves, but for me, it doesn't trudge through those waves. And what I mean by that, I've been in fiberglass boats that just go right through them. That'll go right through. I never speared a wave in two days. If I'd have been in a glass boat, some of the former glass boats that I've ran, I would have ate 20 waves in two days. Without question, would have done that. So 96 inch beam on that express, 
takes that rough water well i said it in the video one of the things you notice it lands way softer than it ever should because i've been in a lot of aluminum just ka -ka 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 absolutely beat you to death it does land solid and it does land soft i did not spend the entire time bundled up in a rain suit it's a very dry ride now look if you're going across waves with the wind coming from the direction that you're facing you're going to get wet i don't care if you're in a freaking yacht i don't care if you're in a 65 foot whatever offshore fishing boat you're going to get wet just due to the spray but i will say the sides on that express do push water away they do uh, you know overall i'm telling you this thing passes every test that i've given it this year i can fish super shallow i can go places like the great lakes i was not scared now look it took me i'll say an hour to go 10 or 12 miles the first morning some of these clips you saw just taking my time three to five foot swells is what i would estimate most of them at in the two days the worst conditions that i saw and a lot of y'all that are going to comment on this are going to go those are big waves it's hard to tell from video but i'm willing to put my boat my life on the line out there on those great lakes and that express is going to get me back each and every time i'm not worried about it so that was the biggest thing i was trying to prove to myself and to you guys is the boat is such a great combination of a skinny water boat because it's aluminum but then it's this high quality high performance bass boat it can run 70 miles an hour 21 feet in length so i can get out there in that big water hope y'all enjoyed it i know it's kind of crazy it's a lot of clips put together me talking here at the house now i've got back home but i give the express two thumbs up in the big water and i'll tell you what in about a month i'm going back to get me another dose of big water smallmouth thank you so much for watching the luke duncan's traveling circus youtube channel if you like what you see be sure to comment below be sure to subscribe we're going to have more videos in that express x21 for years to come more lbls and more boats and pros on the way i thank each and every one of you and i'll see y'all next time